The Leopard 2 is one of the most common main battle tanks in the world, used by militaries on four continents. Building on the success of the Leopard 2 technology Traeger Revolution, Aselsan Turkey is also building an upgrade package for the Leopard 2A4 called the Leopard 2 Next Generation or Leopard 2NG. Since Turkey operates a very large 2A4 fleet, these upgrade kits can be intended for both domestic and export contracts. The Leopard 2 is one of the most common main battle tanks in the world, used by militaries on four continents. As such, the market for upgrades that bring older versions to the latest protection standards and mortality rates is huge. The main player here is Kraus Maffei Wegman, the original designer of the Leopard 2, who is marketing various kits and new versions of the Leopard 2. Before delving into the details of the update kit, it is important to know what standards the majority of the world's Leopards have. The majority of Leopard 2s operated worldwide are standard Leopard 2A4, built between 1985 and 1992. The Leopard 2A4 features a flat front turret, digital fire control system, L44 gun, hydraulic turret drive and thermal gun sight. They don't have independent thermal commander sights, advanced weapons, or added armor. Leopard 2A6 The Leopard 2A6 is the most traditional upgrade, following the naming conventions and general trends of the previous 2A, X, upgrade series. It built on the 2A5 upgrade, which introduced major changes to the turret design, including the signature, wedge, turret. The wedge shape is the result of applying armor packs with a large distance to the turret. Most of the volume in the wedge is blank which provides some resistance to the heat shell, and some added protection against the K-shell. Additional composite armor was also placed on the sides of the hull. Some subvariants of the 2A6 such as the Leopard 2E operated by Spain have additional armor mounted on the front of the hull, the turret front and the turret roof built to the original specifications. Since the shooter's sight on the tower was considered a rather large weak point, it was moved above the tower. The 2A5 upgrade also introduces an electric turret drive and introduces an independent thermal commander sight. In the 2A6, the gun was also upgraded to an L55 cannon, which increased the speed of projectiles fired. This is considered a critical upgrade, as it is a significant boost to the Leopard 2's anti-tank capabilities. The 2A6M variant also includes further belly armor for mine protection as well as a shockproof ammunition rack and other enhancements. The 2A6 is in fairly extensive service. Most of the previous types belonged to the Royal Netherlands Army, which disbanded their Leopard 2 fleet, including 2A6, in 2012 as a result of defense budget cuts and was sold to other European countries. However, despite their age, they have most of the features a modern tank should have, including some of the shortcomings of the T72B3 and T90A. The 2A7 is the latest version of the Leopard 2 which was adopted by the Bundeswehr in 2014. The main improvement is the electronics. A new battle management system, IFIS, enables the same capabilities as the US Army Blue Force Tracker system, sharing friend positions and possible enemy contacts. It also added an auxiliary power unit, APU, and improved climate control for the crew. Armament-wise. A new integrated programmable high-explosive shell can be fired up to 5 km in impact, air blast or delayed detonation mode. Defensively, a mine protection kit superior to the 2A6M was installed. In 2017 the Bundeswehr ordered the Leopard 2A4, 2A6, and 2A7 to be upgraded to the 2A7B standard, which added several additional protective modules to the hull, a new thermal imager including a rear-facing one for the driver, and a more powerful APU. Additional armament upgrades, including the L55 pressure boost, were expected in the 2A7B standard but were not implemented in the final standard. More advanced than the Leopard 2A7V is the Leopard 2A7 Plus, 2A7Q, which was purchased by Qatar. It features the same upgrades as the Leopard 2A7V but has a more powerful APU, so the air conditioning system can run when the tank is idle. It also employs a long-range gun station atop the turret that mounts an American .50 M2HB caliber machine gun for additional melee and overhead protection.
The original STRV-122 was the Leopard 2A5 adopted by Sweden. However the original 2A5 was unsatisfactory for the Swedes, so they ordered it with an additional heavy Mexus H composite armor package in the hull and additional roof protection against cluster bombs and artillery fragments. Also added is the French GALIX countermeasure system. GALIX is an integrated laser warning receiver and smoke grenade launcher with optional battlefield network. It can also launch noise grenades and flashbangs for crowd control. The STRV-122B adds the same mine protection kit as used on the 2A6M. The STRV-122C and D variants will be equipped with a new commander thermal sight that includes a laser rangefinder. The Swedish Army is also considering replacing the L-44 cannon on their STRV-122 with the L-55 and purchasing additional composite armor modules for their tank. Sweden has attempted to make up for the low speed of the L-44 by procuring advanced Israeli APFSDS shells, under the designation Sparljuspensarprojektil M-95, which are considered superior to the original 33 German Marks shells supplied with the tank, but ammunition can only be used so far. Overall, while the STRV-122 isn't the best Leopard 2 due to the limited capabilities of the L-44 cannon, it's an interesting parallel evolution of the platform and superior to the base 2A5. Leopard 2 Technology Traeger Revolution. Variants adopted as Leopard 2 SG and Leopard 2 RI. Unlike the above upgrades, which are largely based on the Leopard 2A5, the Leopard 2 Technology Traeger is a technological demonstration of the possible advanced upgrades that could be applied to the Leopard 2A4, which is still used in many militaries today. Since KMW is mostly focused on the 2A7 line, Technology Traeger has been developed by Rheinmetall instead. The most distinctive feature of the upgrade package is the Advanced Modular Armor Package AMAP, armor module in the hull and turret. This gives the tank a very bulky appearance. However, the position of the 2A4 vision in the hull remains the same, and a weak point. Also added is the Rheinmetall Rosy Countermeasures Package, which provides similar functionality to the GALIX mentioned above. Fire control systems and sights were also revamped, and the ergonomics of nearly every crew position were revamped with new screens and controls. New independent commander thermal sight added. The hydraulic turret drive has also been replaced with an electric drive as in the 2A5. An optional 0.50 calories RWS can be mounted on top of the turret. In the latest version of Technology Traeger, the L44 is also replaced with the L55 and the integrated ADS hard kill active protection system Singapore got almost the same upgrade as the Leopard 2 Technology Traeger revolution in their Leopard 2 SG. They obtained the AMAP armor pack but opted for the Israeli Elbit system commander site and the original battle management system. Some reports say that the Leopard 2 SG is upgraded with the L-55 gun, but the images only show the mounted L-44 gun. Indonesia bought a tank much closer to the original Technology Traeger